So next up is the uh, second Pool D match uh, featuring Wales and Canada. And uh, South Africa already have uh, set the benchmark uh, for this group. Wales lead Canada 22 to 10 in the series with one game drawn. They last met in London in May last season, a bowl semi final. Uh, but they've also met here in uh, Dubai uh, once or twice. And let's have a look at the teams here. Wales led by Jevon Groves uh, returning for his uh, second spell with the Wales uh, Sevens. He's got Will Harris, also a Wales international. And some exciting youngsters in Sean Bennett, uh, Jason Harris, Tom Williams, Luke Morgan and then Stefan Jones. For Canada, well, John Moonlight is the captain. And they will welcome the return of the inspirational number seven, Phil Mack. He's been out for five months uh, following a knee reconstruction surgery. They also have a, a new coach in Liam Middleton. So let's see how Canada go in this one. They wear the red shirts and uh, Wales in the uh, uh, unfamiliar, although the green and uh, the lime green and black shirts are becoming uh, more familiar on the Sam's circuit. John Moonlight, there he is, the captain of Canada from the James Bay Athletic and Ontario Blues uh, representative sides. And you mentioned, uh, I was listening to you, uh, Scott, in the, uh, the opening match uh, that it's referred to as uh, the blowout match. Well, we know that uh, Wills uh, traditionally are slow starters and uh, I saw them uh, stretch uh, uh, just before this game and they were really being put through their paces uh, so let's hope that they can get off to a solid start here and uh, Canada and the new coach Liam Middleton well he's only had some 10 days to prepare uh, since uh, he has joined the Canadian squad following on of course from uh, uh, Geraint John who is now the head coach of the Australian Sounds so the referee for this one is uh, from New Zealand his name is Nick Bryant as uh, Canada through Phil Mack get their campaign underway, quickly snapped up there by Connor Trainer. ball lost forward, so it'll be a well scrum. Well, a lot expected of this uh, Canadian team, they kind of went off the boil after Gary and John uh, left the squad, the players were absolutely devastated and, uh, you know, really after all the, the good work that they'd done throughout the season, they ended up in the Commonwealth Games and didn't quite fire. So let's see who will fire the first uh, shot in this one. Number two there, that's uh, Thomas Williams, the uh, scrum half, uh, the very promising scrum half from the uh, Cardiff Blues. Wills into the Canadian half then for the first time. They'll get a penalty. The Canadian player, Sean Duke, coming in uh, from the side. Out it comes very quickly to Jevon Groves, uh, on to uh, Sean Bennett, the youngster. Been plagued by injuries in their recent seasons. A Wales under 20s representative, not the best of passes. Williams can't gather. So Wales go to ground just outside the Canadian 22. Referee Bryant in very quickly to uh, penalise uh, the player for holding on to the ball after the tackle. Oh, the snap a pass there by Jevon Groves, but Wales not back the mandatory 10 metres. Yeah, Nick Bryant just sharp on that, he had an eye, but that loose pass could have cost them deal. This is Lucas Hammond on the ball from the Toronto Nomads and Ontario Blues, 21-year-old. Passing is not crisp as it first thing in the morning. So difficult to get your campaign underway unless you're up ready and uh, unwilling. Moonlight, long pass out to finding Connor Trainer cuts back inside Stefan Jones. Trainer still going now. Then where's the support? Moonlight is there. He might not be needed. The captain can he get in? Uh, the tackle coming in from Stefan Jones right on the Wills try line. He reached out short, says the referee. Well, we'll have another look at that one. Tremendous effort uh, from Connor Trainer. And Nick Bryant again, right on the button, wasn't he? As Moonlight reached out across the line for the dot down. He had supported the pass. Here he goes. Oh! oh. Good just, call. Just like a Good worm call. short on the fishing trip. Yeah, good work by uh, Stefan Jones. So a let off for Wales. 
need to have their wits about them here. One or two players are blowing already. It's uh, played at quite a pace this game. Groves, the captain, into midfield. Stefan Jones fumbles. It's in the kick downfield, but there's nobody chasing. Hammond is back there, plenty of time to set it up again inside his own 10 meters. Has a quick look to see what's uh, what's on. Groves, good work down and up in uh, one movement. Turning into a bit of an arm wrestle on the floor, and this is where the referee needs to be uh, vigilant. Stolen there by Jason Harris to Will Harris. Harris has got uh, pace back inside. Ball didn't go into touch. Jason Harris, a wing three quarter or centre in 15s, finds himself uh, amongst the forwards in the short code here. Again, Canada penalised for being uh, offside. Quickly taken by uh, Stefan Jones. Lofted pass into midfield to Jevon Groves, Thomas Williams to uh, Luke Morgan. Now he's got gas. Morgan into the 22, goes for the corner. Brilliant defensive work again there by Canada. Saved a certain try. Great defensive effort on the wide out channels. Super play from Wales to deny uh, Canada the try there from Luke Morgan. Morgan showed real pace there. It was great to see that he had a go on the outside. He has a good strike rate as uh, Luke Morgan. 27 tries in his uh, sevens career. Climbing high. The captain, John Moonlight, Canada. On their own try line, Phil Mack. Oh, crossing surely. Yep, that's uh, confirmed by the referee. Wills want to take it quickly through uh, Will Harris. There should be men over here. Jones tries to uh, dodge the uh, the Canadian tacklers and three or four Canadian players have been sucked in as Harris goes again Groves can he get there using his strength but no Canada hold them out still still waiting for the first score of this match out on the wide uh, outside is Jason Harris and is he going to be denied as well try, uh, try confirmed there by Nick Bryant well, Wales had to work extremely hard for that try on the wide outside with Jason Harris. The defensive effort of the Canadians, magnificent. But Harris uncorked the Canadian defence. Yeah, Harris, uh, prolific try scorer for his uh, club side, the Carmarthen Quins, the club of uh, your friend uh, Yayan Evans, uh, Scott. Yeah, Yayan, the flying machine, and this guy's uh, no slouch either. Harris did well there, the conversion is a, an excellent kick from the sideline, so it's a first blood to the Welshman, and this is how the try came about. Yeah, Mike uh, Falafal in winning that three jersey for Canada, didn't quite get that tackle solid on his opposite man. Great conversion, though, for Wales, and that's going to prove perhaps crucial as we head into the last minute or so and uh, on this uh, opening half. Good family support uh, for Harris out here in Dubai. His mum and dad are here, his, uh, uh, his sister, his uncle, and his grandfather as well, I'm told. Was he paying for the flights? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were on the same flight uh, out as me, and they're really looking forward uh, to, uh, to this tournament. And they've been rewarded already for their loyal support. Now then, Canada in the hand through uh, Justin Douglas into the Welsh half. Phil Mack is away, and Phil Mack will get there. The inspirational Phil Mack, the little magician, has conjured up another try for Canada. Yeah, great support there for Canada. But it was the wide arc, first of all. Justin Douglas stretching that Welsh defence. Gets the offload there. Look at that. Releases the pass back on the inside, despite the attention of Luke Morgan and as you can hear that's the half-time hooter that's just gone here in this opening tie and suddenly that seven-point margin will just about be closed out is the conversion good it is so all square at half-time between Wales and Canada we've got a cracker here seven all each converted try from Phil Mack ties it up at the break at seven points all Phil Mack so disappointed uh, to having lost the opportunity to represent his country at the Commonwealth Games because of that injury. Catch your breath, catch your breath. So let's listen in. 
to the huddle. Uh, Liam Middleton's first uh, first session as Canadian coach missed out on the Gold Coast. Ben Herring, the assistant coach, took charge. Yes, our breakdown is outstanding. Our work rate of the breakdown is outstanding, and our defence is excellent. We had to work really hard to put that in the corner from a metre off. Okay, so keep our defensive shape working. Keep working the breakdown. Okay, you're doing that really well, but you've got to back that up for seven minutes now. We've got to work the edges of their defence. They've got a couple of heavy men in the midfield. And and Middleton, the coach across. of Zimbabwe the for the best part of a, a decade. Gareth Watch Williams, the Welsh uh, coach, a former captain of well? the, the Wales we'll Sam's squad. Yeah, this yeah, is okay. his first full season at the helm. Nothing to choose between the teams at the break and so important to get your campaign off to a, a solid start because if you lose your first match then you're, you're chasing and South Africa have already proved that they've got what it takes so disappointed uh, with their own efforts in uh, the gold course as Stefan Jones it away the support is there Harris can't gather what a lovely pickup by Tom Williams but they'll have to come back, the ball will be nudged forward. Well, interesting, just before the kickoff, Stefan Jones uh, was receiving a, a lot of encouragement from Gareth Williams, the coach, and, well, he had an opportunity here. Great little step. I thought he was away, but surprise, surprise, Phil Mack. But what about that for a pick-up? But the, uh, the ball was nudged forward, but Phil Mack, again, such an instrumental part of this... Canadian seven. Uh, Mac has already proved his worth, hasn't he, in the opening minutes uh, of uh, his Listen. Dubai Listen, campaign? Closer, but we do need to be balanced. We can't be in. It is. Look at the way he ducked under the handoff there of Stephen Jones. That's where it was nudged forward, just there. Sorry, Otherwise, the pickup there, <laughs> Williams, absolutely outstanding. Got to be looking good in the cricket uh, shirt that one. Stefan Jones is the man to depart no, for Wales, but look who's coming on. And they don't come much more experienced than Lee Williams, the sole survivor of uh, Wales' a successful World Cup campaign here in Dubai five years ago now. Phil Mack up against Lee Williams for the uh, first time that uh, they've locked uh, horns many a time, and Wales have. Uh, Ripped it clear, there should be a try here for Luke Morgan. Morgan for the try line, try for Wales. No try, no try. Sean Duke got across there for Canada and dislodged the ball. Oh, if you go over, you've got to protect the ball. Luke Morgan denied the try by Sean Duke. Well, Gareth Williams will be livid. Saw something similar, didn't we, in uh, on the Gold Coast, the Fijian. Uh, went over the try line, but tremendous chasing by the Scotsman on that occasion, denying the Fiji and the try. Well, Gareth Williams, he'll, uh, well, he's chewing on, on his uh, accreditation there. Tremendous defence, though, from Canada. First of all, Phil Mack, Sean Duke also over the tackle. Back again, Canada under pressure here on their own try line. That's uh, Sean Duke uh, taking it in. Looking to break clear. This is Connor Trainer up over the 22. Gets support from his captain, John Moonlight. Luke Morgan using uh, the touchline as uh, an extra defender to uh, haul down Justin Douglas. Number four, move to the side, please. Morgan penalised for lazy running. Now then, let's see what Fuller Fowl can do with ball in hand. Uh, Taking on the Welsh opposition in the form of Will Harris. Then Wales looking to hold up uh, the player. 
to get the, uh, the scrum. And Canada have done well. Mack again just asking questions of the Welsh defence. Moonlight gets support once more from Connor Trainer On the outside, it's Justin Douglas, but it's Moonlight on the inside. Canada looking to break the deadlock here, and they do through Lucas Hammond. Well, such are the fortunes of Sevens Rugby. Wales denied the far end and the patient builder from Canada, and they go into the lead. Well, Captain Moonlight with the assist. Look at this. He stayed strong in the contact area. Stays big, stays big, stays big. Gets that offload. And Canada, well, oh, they've stretched and got themselves back in the game. Haven't been 7 0 down. They pull one back at half time on the stroke of half time, and now they lead this Welsh team. Canada had their best uh, season ever in 13-14, uh, uh, and they proved what was possible as uh, Geraint John, the former coach, he pushed and pushed and pushed again. So Mack dropping it just on the 10-metre line. Williams has to uh, track back. Is by uh, Fulifau. Just under three minutes uh, to go in this uh, opening uh, pool match for both these teams. Morgan goes to ground. It's advantage Wales. <laughs> Harris in a hurry to his captain. And that is Captain Jevon Groves there. Craig Price is on. Tom Williams from the uh, Triochi club in the valleys of Wales oh Mack is through could be a second try for Phil Mack sliding over well how often have we said it Phil Mack Victoria BC and James Club they turn over here moonlight in but Mack was quick there silky skills but look at the way he fell down in the ball momentum carries him over the line well, if they had a man of the match in a tie of sevens, I would award it to this guy. Try saving tackles at one end. His second try of the match so far. And just a, he's a wonderful footballer. Yep. Damaged his knee in uh, an international against the USA in Sacramento back in June. And it's been uh, five months rehab for Phil Mack. But he's back and on form. Look at the huge, uh, the heavy strapping on his knee. Wales have a minute 30 to score two converted tries. It's a poor kickoff by Phil Mack. So here's an opportunity, but Wales need to get their hands on the ball quickly here and uh, get a quick score. A few seconds used up there. As the referee insists that the ball must be. Uh, Penalty, the free kick run must be taken from halfway. Will Harris looks to get away. He's tied up there in danger of becoming isolated. Williams to Harris into midfield. This is Tom Williams. Craig Price on the outside takes on uh, Fulifau and uh, John Moonlight. Good work by Moonlight. Uh, lucky. Got his hands on the ball. Harris as Wheels come in search. Well, the try which could bring them back into this match. They need to get the ball over the trial. And Andre start to Morgan in behind the Canadian defence. Just half a minute. Wales desperately need a score here. And the ball in touch. No. Still alive. It's there for Price. Not the best of passes. And Price tied up in the tackle. This time, perhaps, well, the clock is against them. Just the 10 seconds remaining. Those two Phil Mack tries of uh, undone wills. Harris gets away. He won't be caught. Harris in at the sticks. Right on the hooter. Kick is taken, but it's too little too late for Wales. And it's going to get tougher. Portugal and South Africa, but Canada have done well. They trailed by seven points. Then three tries, two of those two, uh, Phil Mack, the playmaker, and Jason Harris' score was just a consolation score for Wales, who have it all to do to qualify for the Cup quarterfinals already. So there we have it, and the final scoreline, Wales 14, Canada 19. So let's have a look at some of those uh, match stats. Wales missing uh, three, uh, six tackles to Canada's three.
Tackle's completed. 